Hi there, I'm David Gergen. I, uh, t I happen to teach at Harvard and I've been a uh, senior analyst for CNN. The most important thing I did uh, was to hire Baruch Shemtov uh, because he was uh, my right arm for a long time. And here we are together today to have a little chat. <laughs> Baruch here with Gen Connect, and today I am joined by the one and only David Gergen. David, thanks for being here. It's good to see you again, Baruch. Good we to see you together. too. We worked together. I've always wanted to interview you. Yeah. It's my first time doing <laughs> I've it. I've been ducking you for a long I time. I noticed, but <laughs> well, now I got you. Okay. You really have been a leader in the areas of politics and education, and you've always been a champion of the young generation. What really is the best way for young people to become involved in a really substantial way this election season? Get in the arena. Don't sit on the sidelines. Don't sit there and just sort of pee on the contestants and think, you know, uh, they're all they're all bums. They're not. But the, the critical thing is this. We're in a very difficult place in our politics right now. We're in a very difficult place in terms of our country. We have an older generation that's not working out very well. It's my generation, actually. Uh, and we need a lot of younger people in the system. We need them running for office in a local community, running for the school board, running for the uh, city council, and working their way up into the system because I might... Uh, I am so impressed with the quality of a lot of the people I see in the younger generation. I think so many people are either go, you know, going out into the arena. I happen to be on the board for Teach for America. We, ha we, uh, we have 4,700 new core members this year. We had 47,000 applications. And they're coming from top flight schools. They're coming from students at the top who are turning down major opportunities in the financial world. Uh, and, they want, and they want to serve and change America. We've got young men and women coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq and taking off their uniform and want to go to change America. And I see in those two groups the makings of the new great generation, a generation not unlike we saw after World War II. And that was people who served when they were young in World War II came back and were the civic generation. They were the greatest generation, as Tom Brokaw always said. And I see the makings of the, of the next greatest generation now in school and people a little older than that. But the way to do it is to get engaged, get off the sidelines, get into the arena, and change it. Because look, the, the, one of the things we learned from the Arab Spring is you shouldn't talk anymore to young people as you're the leaders of the future. Not true. You're, you can be the leaders of today. The Arab Spring proved that, and we can see that in parts of America today. So it certainly sounds like you have confidence in the younger generation, and yet so many young people graduate college and they're jobless. What kind of encouragement can you offer them to get them to actually take it to the next level and be successful? Well, in many ways, uh, if you want to have a job today, you've got to invent it. You know, you've got to go off and just start something up on your own. There are a lot of people that you know, that uh, better than I do, how many have startups in the tech world, uh, how many have startups in the fashion world and that sort of thing. So that's part of it. But you've also got to be persistent. Don't stay at home down in the basement in your parents' house. Don't be one of these boomerang kids, you know. They, they, they send you off and you come back. <laughs> you know, that you've got to be willing to say, okay, I, I'm, I went to law school. I can't get a job. Go volunteer at a law firm. Go make yourself indispensable. Over a couple of months, they'll say, you know, we really ought to keep this person. We really need them. But it is a question. You, it, It's hard. I, I don't have any question about that. And a lot of people are going to get jobs beneath them. But there's only one way. you got to pay your dues and get in. David, thank you. We're okay. all very, very grateful okay, for your leadership. Thank you. Good thank to see you. you. Good to see you, yeah. too. When are you going to shave? I, <laughs> I knew you. Know, come <laughs> out. And for more with David Gergen and to learn more about how you can become engaged this election season, be sure to check out GenConnect.com.